Hi, this is Pam Hamilton. Today I'm going to paint a strawberry for you on a six by eight piece of Lux Archival pastel paper. Enjoy the video. And I'm just gonna really, really quick and loosely kind of sketch this out. Very, um, very abstract, not, not a lot of detail at all. You know, where the leaves are, this is just going to be really just lightly Im indicated. And there's a strawberry here in the background. And when I photographed this, I really um, spent a lot of time with my lighting to make sure that this, this background strawberry stayed very dark and very uh, soft because I don't want your eye to go there first, but it felt like it needed to be represented otherwise uh, I don't think there would have been a whole lot of interest so don't need to do a whole lot more than that just kind of adjust the angle of this a little bit I'm just gonna really quickly using the side of my hard pastel I'm just gonna kind of block in the the dark sh the, well not the dark shapes but just the shapes and I'm kind of, I'm basically just following the, squinting my eyes a little bit, um, just where, where I'm seeing the darkest darks. You wanna start darker than how the finished piece is going to end up because you wanna be able to see uh, the colors shining through the different layers. So we'll just keep this nice and dark. This is a, a blue violet that I that I tend to favor. I like it a lot for shadows, so I'm just gonna kind of kind of go over where I just went. Again, I'm using a very very light touch. I'm gonna use this uh, violet also on the leaves. And then this top corner. I'm actually going to just put the same color all over the whole background because I need to tone the whiteness of this paper. It doesn't matter about those leaves. We'll just go, we'll go right over the top of them. I think the more simple you are at this stage, the better. Okay, now that that part of it's done, we're going to bring out our rubbing alcohol. So I'm, I'm just dipping it in, jumping, dipping it in the alcohol and I'm tapping the excess off the brush. And just like the pencil, I like to hold this towards the bottom of the, the handle because it keeps it looser because I don't, I'm not trying to make a very exact painting at this stage. I'm just trying to dissolve dissolve the pastels and I'm allowing them to drip. And I'm just gonna keep getting the excess off of there. I'm starting, uh, I, I do alternate sometimes between starting with the dark colors or the light colors, but I'm going to start, start with all this dark uh, blue-violet first just to kind of uh, get rid of the whiteness of the paper. Just kind of tap, I'm just tapping it Tapping and dragging, just letting letting gravity do its thing for me. Bring a little of the background into this background strawberry. Again, I wanna make sure that that stays dark so that your eye does not go there first. We wanna make sure that our focal point is this pretty bright red strawberry in the front ground. I also want to make sure that as we work on this, that this strawberry maintains a soft edge. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get, get this part wetted down. Again, I'm not, I'm not so worried about 
you know, what's going on with these green leaves. I'm just basically uh, setting this first layer of pastel so that it's not dusty. It'll make it much easier to apply layers to. Okay, so that part's basically complete. Now we just have to give that a minute or so to dry and we'll continue to layer the pastels. I'm gonna go in with a kind of a reddish brown, um, another hard pastel. And I'm just gonna add a little bit over the top of where this blue violet was. I can see a little um, colorful reflection from the strawberry into the surface that it was setting on. Uh, so it's, it's got forming a slightly red cast. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in with just a slightly, that's still too dark, a slightly more red there, that's good. Just to kind of show where that uh, reflection is. I'm just kind of tapping and dragging. I'm using the pastel on its side. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and kind of drag some of that up into the berry itself. Same with this, the background, the background strawberry. making relatively large marks, large and dark. This one's uh, about a shade darker. Go in there. It's darkest around this area. All right, and then I see some of that color here at the base of the leaves. Get that in there. Basically get all of these dark my darkest darks, get those all established with my hard pastels. I don't wanna fill the tooth of my paper too quickly. Just get a little, uh, little bit more coverage here. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting the leaves back where I obliterated them during my underpainting. This is a dark, probably a spruce green. It's a pretty dark green. It's got a little bit more blue in it than some of the other greens because I want to uh, have a variety of green color temperatures. So some that are warmer greens than others. And then the same thing here. Again, not a lot of detail because this is in the background. Okay. Now I'm going to start using a little bit softer pastels. This is a very, very dark blue-green. And I'm going to go right over the violet that I had underneath it. You can make big, pretty big marks where it's a little bit more expressive. Don't worry about, you know, these areas where you maybe missed your mark a little bit. You can cover them or you can just take a brush and just kind of uh, knock that off. This is still a little bit wet from that alcohol, but that won't hurt anything. I'm still using hard pastels. I'm reserving the softer ones for my detail. See, that's already looking uh, a little bit dimensional. I'm also gonna just drag some of this background onto this strawberry to make sure that I don't end up with a with a line around it. See how that just kind of softened that a little bit? And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Here, 
I've got a navy blue or indigo blue uh, pastel. I believe this is a Rembrandt. And I'm gonna go over this green uh, just to give a little variety to this background. And because this pastel is a little harder than the one I used before, it'll work um, almost as a blender without smushing all the colors together. And I'm, if you see, I can, I'm rotating the direction of my marks. I don't want everything facing the same way. Okay, and then when I get down in here, I'm gonna switch more to a, um, a reddish brown. If you use, so this is a warmer color than the blue. The brown is warmer because it has more red in it. And what that is going to do is it's gonna push all the blue parts back into the distance and anything that's a little bit warmer comes forward. So it's still gonna be uh, dark because it's in the shadows, but they're gonna be warmer shadows. I'm going to overlap that uh, reflection. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with a uh, local color and I've got a nice, uh, very vibrant, um, red with a little bit of orange in it. It's very close to the photograph that I printed out. And this is a very soft pastel. I'm going to go over the top of what I have there. And you don't want to go with too heavy of a touch or you're going to completely fill the tooth of your paper. And again, I'm rotating the direction of my wrist. I'm looking at my photo reference, but I'm not studying it. I'm also trying to interpret a little bit. See, I'm lightly dragging. And I'll put just a tiny bit right here. Not too much at all. And I'm gonna just tap, I'm really tapping, I'm not smearing. I'm just tapping that down a little bit. I think that might have been a little bit too strong. I'm going to actually go in with a harder pastel to just kind of knock that back a little bit. See how nicely that kind of tones that down. I'm going to do the same here. To start to um, apply the leaves. And I really like doing this type of work. It allows you to be a little bit um, expressive with your mark making. Well, this, this piece is pretty small. I, I break all my pastels down when I purchase them and I continue to use them until they're really, really small. Let's try this one. So this is what I used for the other. Um, and this one is going about a shade, a shade lighter and brighter. something darker. This is my blue violet again. These are almost uh, crosshatch type marks that I'm making. Keeping this blue violet in my hand, I'm going to just add a little bit more to the shadow area here.
pretty much pretty much cross hatching. And the, this has a smaller a smaller point on it, so I can get into some of these smaller areas. I'm going to go back to this very soft brown pastel, warm brown, red brown. Kind of mixing between using it on the tip and using it on its side. Put just a little bit of that warmth in here for color harmony. A little bit back there. It is just catching the edge of that. This piece is pretty small, this little piece of pastel. It's kind of looking where the highlights are. Now I'm going to go in with this very, very light. So this was the last one I used. Now I'm switching to a, almost a yellow green. This is the, will be the brightest of the greens that I will probably use. Although you never know. Again, I'm squinting my eyes. Just kind of break that edge a little bit. Couple of small marks in here. A little bright, a little bright patch here. Extend that just a little bit. A little bit right here. And these are the areas where the where my light was hitting when I photographed it. And I'm seeing just a little bit of a more of an of a reddish a reddish green if there is such a thing. It's um, I would say it's going to be something like this. It might maybe like a rust, but if I go over the top of this green, it gives you some interest when you look at it close up. It's a little strong, so I'll just tap that down a little bit, and I see a little bit of it in here, a little bit of it in here, a little bit of it in there. Previously, I used this color. I'm going to go up now to um, something that's got a lot more orange in it. If you look at it by itself, it actually looks orange, but next to that, it's, it's a bit of a red orange. And I'm going to put this where the most light is hitting, which is at the base of the strawberry. And on this top edge. Okay, and then the brightest area is in here, but we don't want to put these these white marks in there because that we're going to do separately, and that's when the real magic is going to happen. I'm going to make this a little darker here. You can fix the shape of your object by working on the negative space behind it. Yeah, that's better. Go in there with just a little bit of more green, just back and forth. Smaller marks. Okay, now we're ready to add some of these highlights. That's the, the really fun part. 
I'm also gonna put this little, little glow on this background strawberry, but we definitely don't want it as bright as what we're doing in the front round. So I grabbed a series of colors on all different shades of, from a coral to kind of fleshy colors down to a white. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them all, but what I'm going to do at this point is take, I think the, I think I'll take the white one and I'm just going to kind of mark where some of these little seed things are going to be. It'll make a lot more sense in a minute. This isn't gonna show a lot. I, I am not one to do an entire painting in pencil, but you need to kind of know where these seeds are. So if you, I'm making kind of light circles and like this won't be a whole circle. It's just the edge of one, just so I can get, cause these are the main ones that I'm seeing where the, the light is hitting. A little bit of a point on this one. a very very soft pastel now because this is going to really uh, sit on here nicely just a bunch of small ones. And I see a little bit of a blue reflection in here too. by bringing a little bit of blue back in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit on this leaf. A little bit on this leaf, a little bit there. Right, I've decided I'm gonna take, uh, go back to my pencil. It's just my mechanical pencil, it's just uh, graphite. Because it has such a fine point and this is a small piece I'm just going to indicate the shadow on some of these seeds so that I don't lose my way on my strawberry. I'm not going to put every single seed on here. Do you have to have enough of them to know that it's a strawberry? Well, at least I do. I have kind of a blue gray. So the shadow, the light is coming this way. So the shadow's underneath. So the seeds are catching just a little bit of light, but they're not white. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a gray on the top side of, the, of the seeds. Not all the same size, not all the same shape, not all the same direction. 
really push that in there to make some little nice bright white marks. Soften that a little bit. Add a little bit of uh, more blue to the background just for a little variety. Gonna brighten this little reflection a little bit. A couple more little seeds on the on the very tip of the strawberry. And I'm just going over everything and just checking to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. A couple of the little seeds towards the top, I'm going to add a little uh, of a warmer color. This is uh, just like a nice light peach. They'll be lighter because the, the light source is hitting them. I'm going to let that um, scribble kind of break the edge up there. Okay, let's just call that done.